हेलो एवरी वन वन सेगेन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एम एस टी प्रोटोकॉल मल्टीपल स्पैनिंग ट्री प्रोटोकॉल यू कैन से वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ए टू जेड अबाउट एम एस टी प्रोटोकॉल इन इन दिस वीडियो यू कैन से एवरी थिंग अबाउट एम एस टी प्रोटोकॉल एम एस टी प्रोटोकॉल लाइक वाई वी कम अप विथ एम एस टी what is the problem with you know all types of previous spanning tree protocol like cst common spanning tree protocol pvst per vlan spanning tree protocol rstp rapid spanning tree protocol right what is the what is the reason right why we come up with mst first we will discuss why part then we will discuss what is mst protocol how mst protocol works how we can achieve load balancing here and how mst is much better than you know all previous types of spanning tree protocol and then finally we will move to configuration part we will see the configuration how we can implement mst in network okay how we can achieve load balancing all the configuration okay so guys these are points about mst right so before discussing this point let me discuss why mst first try to understand why right then only guys i can make you understand what is mst so see if i will talk about types of spanning tree protocol types of spanning tree protocol let me reduce the pen size yes types of stp so as you know we have cst common spanning tree protocol we have pvst then we have rst right or you can say rstp then again we have r pvst then we have what mst right so see guys what is problem in common spanning tree protocol first cst right so if i will talk about cst so try to understand here in cst let's say i have this topology switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 1 2 3 4 in cst in common spanning tree protocol the major issue is what major issue is timer right topology needs lots of time to reconverge the topology or whenever a port will come up or whenever change will occur in the topology right topology need at least 30 second to reconverge so this is biggest problem with cst correct guys second problem with cst is load balancing we cannot achieve load balancing right let's say on this switches we have 100 number of vlans 1 to 100 on all switches so for all vlans one switch will become root bridge one switch will become root bridge and all other switch will be non root bridge switch right so we will have only one loop free topology for all 100 number of vlans let's say this is my topology let me design another topology here switch 1 and switch 2 and switch 3 let's say right here we have connection like this let's say this switch is my root bridge switch so these two port will become dp 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 this port is let's say rp this port is rp let's say this port is dp and this port is alternate right so in cst in common spanning tree protocol my loop free topology is this one switch 1 then switch 2 then switch 3 right this is my connection this is my logical topology loop free topology right so this is loop free topology for all vlans guys right let's say here we have some users in vlan 1 to 10 and here we have again some vlan in 1 to 10 so for all users for users of all vlans this will be the only loop free topology right this will be the only loop free topology so this is first problem or you can say this is second problem that we cannot achieve load balancing in case of cst in common spanning tree protocol right second problem is what timer as i told you convergence time is very slow convergence of cst is very slow so that's why cisco come up with pvst protocol pvst per vlan spanning tree protocol right cisco come up with per vlan spanning tree now try to understand what is problem in pvst guys in pvst what will happen again let's say i have same topology switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 right same topology let's say switch 1 is my root bridge switch or let's say here again we have some users right in vlan 1 to 10 vlan sorry 1 to 10 here we have some users in vlan 1 to 10 right in pvst 
right what we can do we can create multiple loop free topology why because in pvst switches is going to run a single instance for each vlan right so if there are 10 number of vlan on 10 number of vlans on these switches switches is going to maintain 10 number of stp instances right switch is going to maintain 10 number of stp instances right so let's say by default switch one is my root bridge switch one is my root bridge for all vlan right so if if there is only one root bridge for all vlan then guys there is no any difference between pvst and cst both are same no any difference but again if you want to achieve load balancing here what you can do you can configure switch one as root bridge let's say for vlan one two five and you can configure switch two as root bridge for vlan root bridge for vlan let's say six to ten so now how many loop free topology we have two loop free topology one is let's say this one switch one is by root bridge root bridge right so this is one loop free topology for vlan 1 to 5 right for vlan 6 to 10 for vlan 1 to 5 this is my loop free topology for vlan 6 to 10 switch 2 is my root bridge right so here maybe we will have connection like this like this right so this is loop free topology another loop free topology for vlan 6 to 10 so here what uh, i achieved I achieved load balancing right with the help of PBST but you know what is the problem here guys in PBST protocol first problem is again problem of timer still convergence is slow second problem guys if we have 10 number of VLANs on switches right my root bridge switch will generate 10 number of BPDU after every two seconds because in PVST, PVST stands for per VLAN spanning tree protocol means STP is going to run or switch is going to run one instance of STP for each VLAN right so on these all switches we will have 10 number of STP instances right and both root bridge switch switch one and switch two both are root bridge both switches will send 10 number of BPDU after every two second after every two second so see whenever switch creates BPDU or whenever switch execute BPDU it uses their CPU utilization right guys so let's say we have you know lots of VLAN on switches let's say we have 100 number of VLAN on these switches so both switch, switch 1 and switch 2 will generate 100 number of BPDU after every 2 second. It can increase CPU utilization and as you know whenever CPU utilization will increase automatically network performance will decrease right. So in PVST major problem is you know major problem is CPU utilization guys right major problem is CPU utilization that is the reason and again we have one problem of what timer convergence is still slow right so that's why we come up with next protocol that is RSTP RSTP rapid spanning tree protocol in rapid spanning tree protocol again you know like CST is my CST is my open standard protocol right in CST we cannot achieve load balancing and we can run CST protocol on Cisco devices as well as well as on non cisco devices like on other vendors right and pvst is cisco proprietary protocol cisco come up with pvst protocol to achieve load balancing so you can run pvst protocol only on cisco devices in the same way rstp is an open standard protocol right it is open standard protocol we can run this protocol on any vendor devices on cisco devices also and on non cisco devices also right rstp protocol resolve the problem of convergence or problem of timer now here we don't have problem of timer right rstp is very fast in convergence right rstp protocol can converge the topology in a second right in a second whenever change will occur or whenever you know you will configure the rstp protocol rstp protocol don't need much time to convert the topology but again in rstp we cannot achieve load balancing we cannot achieve what load balancing so again cisco come up with what are pvst rapid per vlan spanning tree protocol right to achieve what load balancing 
to achieve what load balancing in RSTP we have resolved the convergence timer right we don't have problem of timer but we cannot achieve load balancing in RSTP protocol so again if you will use RSTP on let's say non Cisco devices what you cannot achieve you cannot achieve load balancing for all VLANs there will be only one switch and for all VLAN switches will maintain only one number of instances right so we cannot achieve load balancing here so Cisco come up with RPVST right again Cisco can achieve load balancing with the help of this protocol but again what is problem problem of CPU right again in RSP RPVST protocol switches is going to maintain one instance for each VLAN so again in RSTP protocol if we have 100 number of VLANs so switches is going to maintain 100 number of instances and switches is going to send 100 number of BPDU after every two second right so this is problem of what RPVST problem of RSTP not a perform load balancing so guys if I will talk about again problem of CST we cannot achieve load balancing not load balance and timer then PVST problem timer plus load balancing cannot achieve load balancing then R STP cannot achieve load balancing here we have resolved resolved the timer issue but cannot achieve load balancing then PV R PVST right we can achieve load balancing we have resolved timer also but problem is CPU right for each VLAN switches is going to maintain one instance so this is the reason why we come up with MST protocol so if I will talk about overall you know uh, overall uh, uh, consideration of MST protocol so guys in MST protocol you know by default MST is similar like CST protocol common spanning tree protocol right not CST you can say by default MST is similar like RSTP protocol rapid spanning tree protocol right rapid spanning tree protocol so by default MST is also RSTP but again here what is the biggest advantage biggest advantage is is we can create create S3P instances according to our requirement we can create instances according to our requirement let's say I have three switches switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 right again we have cable like this now this time I am running what MST protocol here so guys by default all switches will maintain single instance single instance this switch will also have one instance this switch will also have one instance this switch will also have one instance and all the VLAN right all the VLAN are by default mapped in this instance let's say this instance is instance instance 0 this is instance 0 of switch 2 this is instance 0 of switch 3 right and by default all VLANs miss VLAN 124094 all VLANs are mapped in instance 0 right VLAN 124094 124094 by default all VLANs are mapped in single instance that is instance 0 and by default in MST only one instance exists on switches only one instance exists on switches that instance is called instance 0 and all VLAN are mapped in that instance now you know the biggest advantage biggest feature of MST now on the basis of our requirement we can create instances right we can create instances let's say here root switch 1 is my root bridge in MST right switch 1 is my root bridge in MST protocol one second guys okay switch 1 is my root bridge switch so for all VLANs now switch 1 is my root bridge switch but let's say I want to achieve load balancing here because here we don't have problem of convergence as I told you MST is by default similar like RSTP right RSTP rapid spanning tree protocol means convergence is already fast then what we can do we can achieve load balancing 
on the basis of our requirement. Let's say I want switch two should be my root bridge for some VLANs, right? What I want, let's say what I want for VLAN 1 to 10, switch one should be my root bridge and for VLAN 11 to 20 or let's say for VLAN 1 to 100, switch one should be my root bridge switch and for VLAN 100, 1 to 200, switch two should be my root bridge switch. So I need to create only two instance here, right? These switches will maintain only two instance here, right? All switches will have two instance, instance zero, that is by default instance and here I have created one instance and let's say I have created two instance. So all switches will have three number of instances, right? Once I will map VLAN 1 to 100 in let's say instance 1. On switch number 1 I have created instance 1 and in this instance I have mapped VLAN 1 to 100, right? On switch number 2 also I have created one instance or on switch number you know 1 we have let's say one more instance, instance 2. Now here I have mapped VLAN 100, 1 to let's say 200. So automatically this VLAN will unmapped from instance 0. So now switch 1 have how many instance guys? 3 number of instance. Instance 0 and I have created 2 instance. Instance 1 and instance 2. But again in MST protocol, switch will send only one BPDU for all the instances, right? So my root bridge switch is going to send only one BPDU here, not 3 BPDUs one for each instance, right? Like in RPVST or PBST, switches is sending one BPDU for one instance, right? But in MST, MST protocol will send only one instance for, sorry, only one BPDU for all instance. Getting my point? So this is guys advantage of MST protocol, right? Now hope it is clear to you why we come up with MST protocol, right? So that we can achieve load balancing as well. It is an open standard as well, means we can run it on Cisco devices as well and on non Cisco devices as well. And we don't have problem of convergence as well, timer as well, right? So that's why we come up with MST. Now, this is all about why we come up with MST. Now try to understand what is MST protocol. So guys, first of all, just give me one minute. I'm getting one call, then I'm, I'm continuing it. Just one second. Yes, now guys, try to understand. First thing about MST protocol is MST stands for multiple spanning tree protocol, right? It is an open standard protocol, right? Open standard. Okay, now this is IEEE standard. I am not, uh, you know, interested to discuss this. As I told you, by default, it works as CST, as common spanning tree protocol. This is also not true you can say by default it's work as RSTP right then as I told you by default only one instance only one instance of MST this is MST exists on the switch and all the VLAN will be mapped into that instance what I am saying by default only one instance exists on switches and all the VLAN are mapped into that instance then by default MST instances as I told you by default one instance exists and that instance is called instance 0 I will show you practically also right don't worry okay that instance is called instance 0 then instance 0 is called CIST common internal spanning tree protocol we will also discuss more about this like what is CIST for now just keep in mind this thing that instance by default only one MST instance exists on switch and that is instance 0 and what we call to that instance we call to that instance CIST common internal spanning tree right then its convergence is the same as RSTP fine that means we don't have problem of convergence as well here right now the election criteria of root bridge root port designated port is exactly same as CST or RSTP, right? It's same as RSTP, common spanning tree protocol or you can say rapid spanning tree protocol. Then network admin can control the number of STP instances according to their requirement, 
right network admin can control the number of stp instances next point we can create multiple instances according to our requirement fine but always keep in mind we cannot delete instance zero as i told you by default instance is instance zero right and by default all vlans are mapped into this instance and we cannot delete this instance guys on normal switches like if i will talk about you know l2 switches or uh, 373 switches you can create max to max 16 instances right means 0 to 15 but again on multi layer switches like switch uh, way of you know 4500 switch or 6500 switch on these switches on these multi layer switches you can create up to 65 instances you can create up to 66 instances range will be 0 to 65 this is also sorry we can create up to 65 instance and range will be 0 to 64 we can create on multi layer switches we can create up to 65 instances right or this is a range then the switch that will become root bridge for instance 0 will generate configuration bpdu with m record now if you remember the content of BPDU in CST or PBST on RPBST, right? Because there are multiple information like root bridge ID, version, protocol ID, designated port, root path cost, right? Those are the information inside what BPDU. But in case of BPDU of MST, you will see there will be one new field called M record field, or we can say MST extension. MST extension. We will have one extra information inside BPDU, inside MST BPDU, that is MST extension. We also call it to M record, right? It is also known as CIST root bridge, common internal spanning tree root bridge. Don't worry about this point if you are not getting it right for now. Just hold. Now see the next point about MST. MST attributes guys mst works you know on reason right like like what we can say let's say i have two switch here switch one and switch two right and there is two more switch switch three and let's say switch four right guys these switches are in you can say different department or in different organization and these two switches are in different organization or in different department right earlier these switches were not connected together right here we are running mst here also we are running mst so this is in intra region of mst this is also intra region of mst now if you want to connect these two region two intra reason together then what we call to this entire domain is inter domain mst mst inter domain inter reason you can say right so the logic behind it like why we come up with reason right is guys not clear to me also right let's say we have four switches we can run single we can put these all switches in single reason also right but as i told you let's say these two switches are in different you know of different organization and these switches are of different organization right we are running here mst we have some attributes also so if attribute will not match then definitely switch three and switch four will be in different domain and switch one and two will be in different domain right now if you want to replace the configuration of mst on switch number three and four right you need what outage time you need outage time so let's say you don't have outage time then what you need to do you need to configure inter mst reason you need to configure mst inter mst reason you can configure mst reason so we have this feature right either i can replace the configuration right on switch number three and four to uh, you know put these all switches in single reason so we have this concept right we have to understand it that's it so this is for you know th uh, this type of requirement only that whenever we need to connect let's say two different department together where we are running different mst uh, name or version or attributes are let's say different right so those are in the uh, so we have then multiple mst reason and sometimes we need to connect multiple mst reason together as well right but in real time in real time i never seen mst 
inter region right so i have around 5 years of experience guys as a network engineer so in my you know experience i always you know configured or troubleshoot only intra region mst right but again we have concept of inter region also so we will discuss both so now to understand the region first try to understand mst attributes so we have some attributes in mst like name we can configure name by default name is null on switches i will show you the configuration also right if i will access devices as well at the same time let's say here i'm going to access devices as well it will be better if i will access you can see i have switch 1 switch 2 on these switches by default i think pvst protocol is running so a spanning tree summary so you can see which type of spanning tree protocol is running over here pvst this is actually pvst plus not pvst right on switch number 2 also you can see by default pvst so a spanning tree summary pvst plus is running over here as well right mode is pvst this is not pvst pvst plus is actually replaced by pvst so nowadays we don't have pvst protocol we have only pvst plus so now if i will you know change the span tree protocol type here if i will configure mst so command will be very simple span tree mode and then we can say mst right once i have enable mst here now what we can do here we can run one command see as i told you we have some attributes so on this switch i can run this command so a spanning tree mst and configuration you can check the mst configuration so by default name is what null by default name is null and by default revision number is zero and how many instance we have only one instance and which instance we have by default instance zero and you can see mapped vlan all vlan are mapped in this instance by default right okay so i am talking about this name so this is mst attribute this is mst attribute so we have three attributes first one is name and by default name is null then we have revision number again that is zero revision number is similar like you know revision number in uh, vpt vpt protocol and then we have instance instance right so these three are mst attribute now again how switch will came to know that i am in inter mst region or intra mst region so if this attribute will be same if this attribute will be same on let's say two switches right that means this switch these two switches belongs to intra mst region if these attributes are not same that means these switches be belongs to different mst domain let's say i have one more switch here switch 3 switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 right here name is null revision number is 0 and how many instance we have instance 0 and mapped vlan is 1 2 4 0 9 4 right let's say on switch number 2 also name is what null revision number is 0 and instance is 1 that is instance 0 and all vlan map vlan is vlan 124094 and guys on switch number 3 let's say my name is not null let's say ccna right so you can see attribute on switch number 3 is different name is different so now switch 3 is in inter mst region or let's say name is what here also name is null revision number is let's say 1 again switch 3 is in different region again let's say revision number is also 0 but here we have two instance instance 0 and instance 2 or let's say we have again one instance only instance 0 but in this instance mapped vlan is vlan 1 2 let's say 100 only right so again if vlan mapped is also different that means switch 3 is in different domain inter domain right so here you can see here also you can read there are two types of mst region inter sorry intra domain region and inter domain region if i will talk about intra domain region so if all attributes are same then it is known as intra region if any attributes are not same then it is known as inter region fine so this is very basic now 
now how to how switch will identify the reason so as i told you the switch is going to match the hash value switch is going to match what hash value see whenever you will configure mst on switch mst on switch switch will calculate one digest value right md5 digest value with the help of mst attributes mst attributes are name revision number revision number and then instance by combining these three information right switch is going to calculate what md5 digest value right md5 digest value and switch will send this md5 digest value in their bpdu so now let's say here i have two switch switch one switch two switch one switch two on this switch also name is let's say ccna revision number is one and there is only one instance where we have mapped vlan let's say one two 4094 by default on switch number two also name is ccna right revision number is one mapped vlan in instance zero is one two four zero nine four so both switches is going to calculate their md5 digest value with the help of these information right so guys md5 digest value of both switch will be same right so if switch one when switch one will send bpdu it will send digest value right when switch two will send empty uh, bpdu it will also send digest value if switch will check digest value on my local switch and digest value which i am receiving in bpdu both are same that means both are in same domain if i will show you the revision number on switch on this switch let's say on this switch i'm going to check revision number so what command i can run so spanning tree mst digest mst instance zero and then digest what uh so a spanning tree configuration and then we can say digest value here you can see the digest value on switch number one this is digest value right so actually this switch have calculated this md5 digest value with the help of name revision number and name revision number and instance so so a spanning tree mst and configuration by default here you can see name is what null revision number is what zero and mapped vlan instance is zero only one instance and mapped vlan is vlan one two four zero nine four so with the help of this information it have calculate this md5 digest value in the same way on switch number two on switch number two also if i will enable mst spanning tree mode mst right and now so a spanning tree mst configuration here also you can see name is by default what null revision number is what zero and how many instance we have one and which instance instance zero and vlan mapped in instance zero is same right so if you will check md5 digest value of switch two so a spanning tree mst configuration and digest so you can see md value value of md5 digest value of switch 2 and md5 digest value of switch 1 both are same both are same that means both switches in same domain intra domain right both switches are in intra domain right so this is guys concept of digest value so let me take you again here to my pdf now i am talking about theory part only so see now hope it is clear to you like how switch will identify the reason so the switch is going to match has value with another switch has value if the has value is same that means it belongs to same reason otherwise it belongs to different reason the has value is combination of name revision number and vlan mapping name revision number and vlan mapping guys for every reason one switch will become root bridge and that root bridge is called ist master ist stand for internal spanning tree internal spanning tree right so let's say here let me again give you one example right because you know with example you will get better let's say i have one switch here switch one right here i have one another switch switch two right both are connected like this okay and here i have one switch three also or let's say here i have switch three switch three and here i have switch four right guys name on this switch is let's say ccna 
name on this switch is also CCNA and name on this switch is let's say CCNP here also name is CCNP so now these two switches are in different domain right these switch 1 and switch 2 both are in one domain right means intra domain and switch 3 and switch 4 are in another intra domain now now in this domain in this domain one switch will become what IST master switch root bridge one switch will become root bridge which switch will become root bridge again switch who which will have higher priority or switch sorry switch which will have you know lower priority on base MAC address right so let's say switch one is my root bridge switch one have lower priority and lower base MAC address right so switch one is my root bridge so this switch is called what IST IST master switch in this domain also one switch will be what IST master switch so let's say switch 3 is my what IST master switch right so in both domain we have one root bridge in both domain we have one root bridge and that root bridge is called what IST root bridge again now in the entire MST domain in the intra domain in the entire MST domain one switch will become what root bridge right maybe again switch who will have lower priority and lower base MAC address that switch will become what root bridge let's say switch one have lower priority and lower base MAC address in the entire MST domain so switch one will become what root bridge for both domain and this switch is called what C I S T root bridge right this switch is called C I S T right so here you can see for every reason one switch will become what root bridge and that root bridge which is called IST master for every connected reason one switch will become what root bridge and that root bridge which is called what CIST root bridge right so for every connected reason for every connected reason one switch will be root bridge and for each domain for each reason one switch will be root bridge right for each reason switch will be one switch will be root bridge that switch that switch is called IST master switch and in the connected reason one switch will become root bridge that switch that root bridge which is called C I S T root bridge common internal spanning tree so with the help of name also you can see it is common is common root bridge right common internal spanning tree root bridge and this is internal IST is what internal spanning tree root bridge right so internal root bridge means root bridge inside the my domain right and C I S T root bridge means root bridge in the entire MST domain means in the connected region okay so hope this point is also clear to you like how switch is going to identify the reason and in each domain one switch will be root bridge that is called IST root bridge and uh, you know for the connected reason one switch will again become root bridge that switch is called CIST root bridge fine now if I will talk about the contents of PPDU let me discuss the contents of PPDU in MST time is 38 seconds okay let me finish it first then we will move to configuration part now see guys contents again there is information of protocol version BPDU and BPDU type and flags right these are similar like CST PVST are PVST right there is eight flags and flags are exactly same MST also use what proposal agreement bits for the faster convergence then in the BPDU there will be information of C I S T root bridge ID means common internal spanning tree root bridge ID common spanning tree root path cost common spanning tree regional root bridge ID and common internal spanning tree port ID like in the normal PPDU, in the BPDU of R, RPBST or PBST or CST, we had the information about root bridge ID, about the root path cost, right, about the designated port ID. So these information are similar like that, right. But what is the extra information in MST BPDU, guys? This extra information you can see MST extension, or you can say MST record in short we called it m record so these are extra information m record right so in 
M record field, there will be information about MST config ID, there will be name, there will be what? Revision number, there will be what? MST configuration digest value, as I told you, both switches will send digest value in their BPDU, then CIST internal root path cost, root bridge ID and CIST remaining hope, like CST supports, you know, how many hopes? Most of the people are saying, you know, uh, uh, CST protocol supports, you know, seven hopes only, right? Means root bridge switch will generate BPDU with hop what? Let's say zero, with hop zero. So this BPDU can travel till switch number seven, right? So we can connect only seven switches, but in MST, remaining hop will be 20 I think so we will check it okay now guys these are the contents of PPDU now try to understand this point very carefully this is very very important see for MST inter region means for different reason right let's say again let me design the topology here also switch 1 switch 2 right switch 3 switch 4 switch 4 these two are in different domain and these two switch are in different domain fine and we will have one complete MST domain fine so in this domain one switch will become root bridge one switch will become root bridge so for the root bridge election for the root bridge election inside the domain switches is going to check what this information M record information like it will check what first of all it will check has value digest value right if digest value will match that means we are in same domain then switch is going to check this information for root breeze election switch which will have lower breeze id root breeze id that switch will become what that switch will become root breeze and that root breeze is called what ist root bridge ist master internal spanning tree and for the multiple domain right for the collected domain again one switch will become what root bridge let's say this switch is also ist root bridge site root internal spanning tree root bridge that is internal spanning tree master and in the entire domain one switch will become root bridge now for that election switch is going to check what this information right this information so this this information is called what mst zero right so you can say for the root bridge election inside the domain which is going to check what M record information and for the connected domain which is going to check what M uh, sorry MST zero information for root bridge election and same thing I have written here you can see for MST inter region switch will check MST zero information and for intra region switch will check what M record information for root bridge election right for root bridge election guys this is all about MST protocol this is all about MST protocol right so for intra area for intra for inter domain for inter domain root bridge election switch is going to check this information MST zero information right and for same reason switch is going to check M record information for root bridge election now let's move what is bridge id in mst bridge id is again same priority plus base mac address but here in priority we will add what instance number also instance number so by default on switch we have what instance we have instance zero so by default priority configured on switches three two seven six eight right so what will be bridge id of switch one let's say this switch is switch one mac address is zero a so bridge uh, root bridge id of switch one will be what three two seven six eight plus zero instance number plus zero a mac address this is bridge id right this is bridge id in the same way switch to have let's say mac address what zero b here also we have one instance that is instance zero so bridge id of this switch will be three two seven six eight plus zero b let's say here i have created one more instance instance one instance one for instance one what will be root bridge guys three two seven six eight plus one plus zero a means three two seven six eight sorry nine plus zero a 
on switch number two also we have instance one for this instance what will be bridge id three two seven six nine plus zero b fine so hope this is also clear to you right now next thing is how we can achieve load balancing so guys let's say switch one and switch two both are in same domain right both are in intra domain so here let's say mac address is what a here mac address is what b zero b fine try to understand this very very carefully this is very important now on both switches we have instance zero by default instance zero here also we have instance zero right in instance zero all vlan are mapped vlan one two four zero nine four here also all vlan are mapped vlan one two four zero nine four fine switch one will have what root bridge three two seven six eight plus zero a this switch will have what bridge id three two seven six eight plus zero b fine now let's say on switch number one we have 10 vlan right on switch number two also we have 10 number of vlan vlan one two one two ten here also we have vlan one two ten right we have some user in vlan one we have some user in vlan two in same way we have some user in all vlans now here i want to achieve load balancing so what i will do i can create one instance here right let me create one instance one instance one right in this instance i am going to map let's say vlan what six to ten right here also instance one in this instance i am going to map vlan six to ten right so vlan 125 is in instance 0 and vlan 126 is in instance 1 right same in the same way on switch number 2 also vlan 125 is in instance 0 vlan 126 to 10 is instance 1 right now for instance 0 switch 1 is my root bridge for instance 0 switch 1 is my root bridge switch right root bridge so this port is what dp this port is what dp this port is rp sorry this port is not rp this port is rp and this port is alternate blocking right this port is block fine guys this is not root root bridge only for instance 0 this is root bridge for both instance instance 0 as well and instance 1 as well because for both instance switch 1 have lower bridge id correct because for instance 1 also bridge id will be 3 2 7 6 8 sorry 3 6 3 2 7 6 9 plus 0 a here also 3 2 7 6 9 plus 0 b again switch one have lower bridge id so for both instances switch one is my root bridge right now see to achieve load balancing what i can do here on 0 slash 0 interface i can increase the priority for instance one if i will increase priority for instance one what will happen this port will become what rp for which instance for instance one only right so you can see i am achieving lo now load balancing now upper path is in forwarding states for instance one and lower path is in forwarding states state for instance zero or what i can do or i can decrease some priority on this port for instance one right I can decrease some priority because now this port is root port lower port is root port why because first it will check what root bridge id then it will check what cost so cost over here and cost over here is same guys mst use long cost right in stp remember we have two types of cost short cost and long cost 16 bits long 16 bits bits cost and 32 bits cost so MST protocol uses 32 bits cost, right? So if I, I can increase or decrease cost on a port for a particular in, instance, or let's say what I want, switch two should be my root bridge. Switch two should be my root bridge for instance one. So what I can do, I can configure priority zero over here for instance one. So once I will configure priority zero on switch number one, right, for what? For instance one switch two will become what root bridge for instance one and switch two one will be my root bridge for instance zero right so this is how we can achieve load balancing here and we can create instances according to our requirement now the last part is configuration part guys so you can see the commands here just give me one minute then i am 
so you can take one a screenshot of you know commands here but i am going to run these all commands here right don't worry in the topology let me open topology c by default on switch number one switch one have lower mac address so switch one will become what root bridge so a spanning tree first of all again i am going to run this command and before that let me check vlan as well so vlan brief so we have only one vlan that is default vlan here on switch number two also let me verify the vlan so vlan brief okay we have only one vlan and all ports are member of vlan one right which protocol i am running here so a spanning tree summary you can see we are running mst protocol this time right switch is in mst mode fine and first command is you can here also see we have only one instance that is instance zero now so a spanning tree mst and then configuration right with the help of this command we can check mst configuration you can see we have one instance that is instance zero and all vlan are mapping this instance right then so a spanning tree mst and hit enter right now guys you can see this is information of root bridge right which switch is root bridge see this switch this switch is root bridge for c i s t common internal spanning tree see both switches are in you know single domain both switches are in single domain so actually this switch is switch one is my c i s t also and this switch is my internal s t also right i s t also switch one is i s t also as well as c i st also right after that just try to read information from here we have see mst instance zero this is information of mst instance zero vlan mapped all vlan are mapped in this instance right address breeze address of this switch this is what mac address pi t 32768 and as i told you it is going to add what instance number here so it is adding instance zero here right in the priority okay after that you can see the timers hello time is again two seconds and now we are able to see two timers right operational time and configured time guys see in this domain switch one is my root bridge right so if you want to if you will change hello timer on switch one automatically hello time will change on switch number two right so operational timer is what my output time right and configure timer is what configure time so this switch is my root bridge switch so here configure time as well as operational time is what two minutes if i will say configure hello time what three second here then on switch number two you will see operational timer will be become three minute three second and configure time will be still what two second right then again forward delay time 15 second maxes time 15 second and leave it for now try to read this information maximum hop as i told you mst support 20 hopes right so this is maximum hope that this switch can support and maximum hope on switch number two will be what 19 because switch two will decrement it by one so on switch number two if i will run same command so so a spanning tree mst and let's say instance zero so here you can see here you can see same information mst instance zero mapped vlan is 124094 right breeze id right and this is information of root breeze id root breeze id this is mac address of switch one you can see right this is information of root breeze id and after that here regional root breeze id is switch one this is again information of switch one and remaining hope remaining hope is 19 right it it have decrement by one and after that again you can see operational time and configured time operational time and configured time and on switch number two you can see zero slash zero is root port rp and this is cost this is long cost right this is port priority and 
this is type uh, because both ports are duplex right uh, sorry full duplex working on full duplex if you will set duplex half automatically you will say type over here will become what's here and 0 slash 1 is my alternate port and the status of this port is blocking and these two are LAN port is port are DPDP fine so this is basic output now I am going to create some VLAN guys on switch number one and on switch number two and if you will change the timer here if you will change the timer here interface let's say what we can say is spanning tree MST and let me put question mark here hello time hello time let me set what three seconds and now so a spanning tree MST instance zero you can see here configure time and operational time both are three seconds but on switch number two let me take you to switch two and here again I am going to run this command so a spanning tree MST zero now here you can see operational time is three seconds means switch number two have set their time be uh, changing their time according to root bridge switch right but configure time over here is what is still two seconds again I am going to remove this command from switch number one because I don't want to change timer here as pantry I'm going to say no to this command fine now now VLAN let's say one to ten I'm going to create ten number of VLAN here on switch number two also I'm going to create ten number of VLAN VLAN 1 to 10 guys I will you know do one thing I will create one more video on MST right because in single video covering everything about MST is going to be difficult right video length will be then video length is going to be you know more than two hours it will be difficult for you to watch okay so let me try to cover you know uh, maximum things in this video and then we will see what will happen later fine now here again I am going to run this command so a spanning tree MST now you can see how many instance we have again only one right that means we have VLAN we have VLAN 1 to 10 so VLAN brief you can see we have VLAN 1 to 10 but still we are able to see what how many MST instance only one now I am going to configure link between switches as trunk so interface range E0 slash 0 and E0 slash 1 I am going to say let's say switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q sorry switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q and then switch port mode trunk on switch number 2 also I am going to run this command manually I am configuring trunk right because in EVNG sometime DTP protocol is not working fine so 0 slash 0 and E0 slash 1 switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q and switch port mode trunk fine now now so a spanning tree MST now again you can see we have only one instance of MST here and all VLAN are mapped in this instance now I am going to create one instance here to achieve load balancing so in config mode you need to run this command a spanning tree MST configuration right here you can create instance let's say instance one we can define name of name as well here and then what VLAN you want to map in this instance right so let's say in this instance I am going to map VLAN 125 VLAN 125 now so a spanning tree MST now guys you can see we have multiple instances of MST this is MST instance 0 this is MST instance 1 1 right MST instance 0 MST instance 1 because we have now two number of instance on this switch right in instance 1 mapped VLAN is 1 to 5 in instance 0 mapped VLAN is VLAN 6 to 4 0 Nine, four. automatically you can see VLAN 1 2 5 is removed from this instance right instance 0 let me create one more instance here a spanning tree MST configuration and say instance let's say instance 2 and VLAN here I am going to map 6 to 10 fine so a spanning tree MST 
right now you can see we have instance 0 instance 1 and instance 2 and we can run this command also so a spanning tree mst and configuration right you can see we have now three number of instances on this switch instance 0 instance 1 as well as instance 2 in instance 1 mapped vlan is vlan 125 in instance 2 mapped vlan is vlan 6210 in the same way on switch number 2 also i need to create two number of instances so say a spanning tree mst configuration in this mode i can create instance one here and i'm going to say mapped vlan 125 in this instance and then exit then a spanning tree mst configuration instance 2 and mapped vlan 6 to 10 fine again here also so a spanning tree so a spanning tree and we can say what mst configuration so you can see we have three number of instances on this this switch and for all instances switch one is my root bridge right so on switch number one we can check so a spanning tree mst instance let's say zero for instance zero you can see this switch is root bridge for instance one for instance one also this switch is my root bridge switch for instance two also this switch is my root bridge switch right this switch is my root bridge root root this switch for mst2 for mst0 also for mst1 also and for mst0 also this switch is my root bridge switch right so a spanning tree because of this you can see all ports of this switch is dp all ports of this switch is dp for instance one also instance two also and instance three also right on switch number two so a spanning tree mst let's say instance zero for instance zero this switch is not root bridge root bridge switch is address is this one this is mac address of switch one for instance one also you can see root bridge is this switch we have this address this mac address means switch one for instance two also right and for instance two you can see zero slash zero is root port zero slash one is alternate port for instance one also zero slash zero is root port and zero slash one is alternate port for instance zero also zero slash zero is root port and zero slash one is what alternate port right so till now guys till now guys we have created some number of instances according to our requirement on switches see by default on switches we had only one instance right according to our requirement we have created some instances here now now what we can do we can achieve load balancing here right now we can achieve load balancing here first of all if you want to make switch to as root bridge let's say for a particular instance so simply you can run this command here a spanning tree mst and then instance number one and then we can set priority whatever here zero right so once i will run this command and now do so a spanning tree mst and instance zero for instance zero again you can see root b switch is this switch switch we will have we have this mac address for instance one for instance one this switch is root b switch right for instance two again switch one is my root b switch right so let me remove this command because i am not going to make switch two as root bridge for instance one right so i have removed this command again you can see so is bank three mst instance one this switch is not root bridge now right this port is blocking port right now now if you are thinking that now switch one is root bridge and root bridge switch is sending three number of vpdu because there are three instance so guys again no switch one is sending only one vpdu switch one is sending only one vpdu for that you can see here i have one more command to check uh, detail information of stp on interface you can run this command so a spanning tree interface and then interface id and then you can put detail command right like on switch number one if i want to check any interface detail configuration so i can run this command so a spanning tree then ms sorry so a spanning tree i think it's mst keyword i need to add over here or not let me check uh no then 
here I can say on switch number one a spanning tree interface let's say e zero slash zero and detail from this interface from this interface you can check one thing how many BPDU this switch have same 34 and is this switch receiving any BPDU now on this port definitely not this is earlier BPDU guys right now again if I will run this same command you can see here BPDU sent from this port is 178 and BPDU receive is still 34 right on this port for MST1 right so what I am saying I what I am telling you that you can see for each instances for instance 0 instance 1 instance 2 number of BPDU send is what 178 on all this but again this is not the correct way to check that it is sending single BPDU so what I can do I can debug a spanning tree protocol here and I can say what mm, BPDU then we can say what transmit so here you can see it's not generating log message leave let's say an all On switch number two if you want to verify this that switch is sending single BPD or not okay let me do one thing let me try to capture the link I'm going to capture e0 slash 0 e0 slash 0 right so that I can show you M record field also in the BPD so see it is sending BPD after every two second after every two seconds it is sending one BPDU right one BPDU now if I will open any BPDU here you can see in this BPDU we will have information of all instances we will have information of all instances like here here you can see the content of BPDU guys inside the MST extension there will be one more information right I'm going to add that let's say we have created some instance here there will be information of MS, MST instance 0 MST instance 1 MST instance 2 right so let me show you switch is sending information of all instances in single BPDU for that I'm going to open this BPDU right and now you can see in this BPDU we are able to see this MST extension field and this field is called as M record also right and this is information of this is information of M MST 0 MST 0 right hello time forward delay time max is time root breeze root path cost this is which root root path cost CIST root path cost right CIST root path cost which I have mentioned here this is information of this field this field right this is this root bridge ID CIST root bridge ID now again let me take you to here so that these are information of CI ST root bridge right and now I'm going to open this MST extension field so if I will open this field you can see here we have some information about instance 1 and instance 2 right instance 1 and instance 2 so in the single BPDU it is sending information of all instances right so again we have three number of instances on switch right but switch will generate only one number of instance right let's say switch 2 is root bridge for another instance then definitely switch 2 will also generate BPDU and switch 1 will also generate BPDU but in this scenario switch 1 is generating only single BPDU for all instances right so as I told you this is information of instance 0 right this is information of M 
record and inside the m record there is information of external insta instances which we have created instance 1 and instance 2 right now if you will open this right so guys you can see there is information of mst1 like as i told you in the content of bpdu that inside the m record inside the m record or you can say mst extense, ext extension we will have this information like name revision number right and uh, cist internal cost root path cost root bridge id right remaining hope so you can see these all information are there inside the mst instances right name what is name null revision number what is revision number zero right cist internal root path cost zero because root bridge is generating it right cist root bridge identifier this is mac address of switch one getting my point right and if you will check this information upper information so here you can see root path cost this is information of mst zero mst zero root identifier this is mac address of switch one right flag agreement bit and whatever bits we have in the flag right so this is mst bpdu so for all instances now switch is generating only single bpdu right switch is generating only single bpdu right here switch is sending switch one is sending information of instance one and instance two inside which field inside m record inside m record fine now now here i want to achieve load balancing in this video right and after that maybe i will you know make one another video on mst if you guys will request right because this is this is you know definitely we have covered around you know 90 percent content of mst in this video but still we have some concept right that we need to learn like configuration of inter region right so if you will request for you know, another video in the comment section definitely i will make one another video on it or let me try if it is possible then i am going to configure it in same scenario now here i want to achieve load balancing here i want to achieve load balancing right so now you can see switch 2 switch 2 is receiving bpdu superior bpdu on e0 slash 0 interface for all instances right because of that we are able to see so a spanning tree mst instance 0 0 slash 1 is my alternate for port for instance 0 also for instance 1 also means for vlan 1 to 5 0 slash 1 is what blocking and for instance 2 means for vlan for vlan 5 to 6 to 10 0 slash 1 is again alternate port right so now if you want to perform load balancing here what you can do now switch is switch 2 is receiving superior bpdu on this interface for all instances i'm going to i'm going to use upper path for vlan 6 to let's say 10 so what i'm going to do i'm going to increase some priority over here or i'm going to decrease some priority over here for for instance 2 right so let me take you to switch number 2 and go to interface e0 slash 1 and here what we can say is spanning tree mst instance number 2 and then cost so here if i will cost if i will configure cost what this one by default cost is you can see this one around 20000 this is or uh, you can check it 245 right so now this port have what lower cost 0 slash 1 so again i am going to run so a spanning tree mst instance 2 now you can see for instance 2 now 0 slash 0 is my blocking port because this port 0 slash 1 has what lower priority right again for instance 0 for instance 0 you can see port number 0 is rp and 0 slash 1 is alternate port right for instance 2 0 slash 1 is blocking port for instance 1 0 slash 1 is root port and 0 slash 1 is blocking port right so for now we have two loop free topology right one for vlan 
for VLAN, 1, 2, 5, loop free topology, this one, switch 1, switch 2, we have this link, 0 slash 0, 0 slash 0, for VLAN, 6 to 10, we have switch 1, switch 2, and link number is what, 0, zero slash 1, 0 slash 1, right? getting my point guys so this is how we can achieve load balancing as well and here convergence is also fast convergence is also fast you can see on switch number two i'm going to let's say don this interface interface is zero slash zero let's say what shut down and i'm going to run no shut command and before that do so do so spanning Three for MST for which instance for instance one for instance one you can see now zero slash one is my root port because zero slash zero is shut down now I am going to run no shut command here on port will come up run do so spank tree again you can see zero slash one is RP and it is in forwarding state right so again proposal field and agreement field bits those are working exactly same like rstp so because of that topology convergence is still very fast right so this is guys all about mst uh, for this video right now if you want another video as well you can let me know in the comment section or you can configure mst inter region by yourself as well guys because now you have basic basic understanding of mst right but but before you know exiting this video guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button right if you have any confusion any doubt let me know in the comment section if you don't have any confusion if you have understood a spanning tree protocol sorry mst protocol completely then guys let me know in the comment section that yes i got it right and because i have spent it on you know you can see one and a half hour right so please let me know you have understood it or not right so guys that's all for today now bye bye thanks for watching that's all for today let's meet in next video till then stay safe bye bye